नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स इन आर लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट बायोनोमियल थ्योरम बायोनोमियल एक्सपेंशन दैट इफ वी हैव टू राइट द एक्सपेंशन फॉर एंटिटी ए प्लस बी पार एन विल बी राइटिंग एट एन सी जीरो ए एन एन सी वन ए एन माइनस वन फर्स्ट क्वांटिटी इज डिक्रीजिंग एंड सेकंड वन इज इंक्रीजिंग ए एन माइनस टू बी टू एंड सो ऑन लास्ट विल बी रिटर्न एस बी एन सो फर्स्ट क्वांटिटी इज डिक्रीजिंग एंड द सेकंड वन इज इंक्रीजिंग इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस पैटर्न केयरफुली व्हाट वी हैव रिटर्न when we are writing first term in case of first term 1 n c 0 if i am saying 1 here here it is 0 and a is having n bar if i am writing second term for second term n c 1 it is 2 it is 1 and a Will be n minus one. Whatever is written here will be written here, and b will be one. Then if we write third term, n c two, it is three. It is two. If if it is two, it will be a n minus two and b bar two. So in the same manner, if we write any term from in between the series. I'm not going that way. Straight way, if I'm writing r plus one term, how to write? See, n is everywhere. N c. If it is r plus one term, means one less. R will be there. Then a n. Whatever is written here, we'll be writing here. N minus r. Then b two two means r r. So this is we call general term. What is the need of general term? Why are we writing general term? Like the examples that we have done for exercise eight point one, they were saying open the expression, open the identity a plus b power five like this. So we were writing all the terms, but in case they don't ask for all the terms they ask for a particular term then what to do for that we will be using this general term for example let us find out third term of the expansion x plus 2 raised to power 10 in this question in place of a x has come in place of b 2 has come and n is 10 let us find out the formula of general term n c r A n minus r b r. Now, if say they are saying third term, third term means two plus one. So r is two. If we will be using r as two, then only we will be getting two plus one three. That means third term. Now put the values in place of n. Write down ten. Combination with r. R is two. A a is x. N n is ten minus r r means two. Then b b is two and r is also two. So what value is coming? We are getting third term as ten c two x power eight and two square means four. Now, if you calculate, ten c two means ten factorial, two factorial, ten minus two, eight factorial, x power eight into four, ten into nine into eight factorial, then two factorial means two into one, this eight factorial, or cancelled with eight factorial, two and ten are cut. Five, forty-five into four, 
into x power 8. 45 into 4 means 180. 180 x power 8. So this is third term of the expansion x plus 2 power 10. Next example, they are saying to find A if 17th and 18th term of the given expansion are equal. For this, we will have to calculate 17th and 18th term. In this question, in place of A, 2 is coming. In place of B, A is coming. N is 50. So when we say 17th term, 17th term means R will be 16. 16 plus 1. Now, NCR, 50, combination with R, R is 16, here, in this case only R is 16, then A, A is 2, power, N minus R, 50 minus 16, into B, B is A, power R, R is 16. So we have obtained 17th term as 50 C16, 2 raised to power, 50 minus 10, 40, 40 minus 6, 34 and A power 16, the first thing. Then we said 18th term, 18th term means 17 plus 1, N is 50, N C R, R is 17 here, then 2 power, N minus R, N minus R. Then B, B is A, A bar R. Here we have used R as 16 and here we have, are using R as 17. So this will be 50 combination with 17, 2 bar 33 and A bar 17. Now according to question, in this given question, 17th and 18th term are equal. That means this first and second expressions will be keeping equal to 50 combination with 16 2 power 34 a power 16 is equal to 50 combination with 16, 17 2 power 33 and a power 17. If we open 50 and 16 combination, 50 factorial, 16 factorial, 50 minus 16, 34 factorial. Then 2 power 34, A power 16. This side, 50 C, 70 means 50 factorial, 17 factorial into 33 factorial. 2 is power 33, A is 70. We start cutting like terms, like 2 is having 34 times, 2 is 33 times. So only 2 will be left, A 16, A 17. You can solve it by same base method also. Now here, 50 factorial. What are we left with? side nothing is left only 2 is left means 2 upon 16 factorial into 34 factorial equals to this side 17 factorial 33 factorial and a a upon 17 factorial 33 factorial now if we shift this side 2 into 17 factorial, 33 factorial and in the denominator we have 16 factorial, 34 factorial equals to A. 2, 17 factorial means 17 into 16 factorial. Keep 33 factorial like this only. Then 16 factorial like this. We always open bigger number. 34 factorial means 34 into 33 factorial equals to A, it's got cancelled, 
2 and 17 makes it 34. So what are we left with? 1. So value of A is 1 if 17th and 18th term of the given expansion are equal. In next example, they have given us an expression x plus 2y power 9. And they are saying us to find the coefficient of this particular term. If we write general term, we are writing NCR, A, N minus R, B, R. Here, N means 9, C. Now, R is not decided. So, we are keeping it R, A. A means X. N. N means 9. 9 minus R. B. B is 2Y. Power R. Now, what we have to do is, we have to decide what the, should be the value of R so that this term gives the coefficient of this term. The C. X is having 6 power. How can we get X as 6? If here, we put R as 3, we can Solve it further. We can take it out. 9CR x power 9 minus r 2 power r and y power r. Now we want to have x as 6 and y as 3. Both the purposes can be solved if we put r as 3. So what will happen? 9C 3 x 9 minus r 9 minus 3 we'll be getting x power 6 this is what is beside then 2 power r means 2 power 3 then y power r y power 3 so everywhere in the expansion we have filled r as 3 so this side also it will be 3 3 plus 1 4 that means we are calculating fourth term. 9C3 means 9 factorial upon 3 factorial, 9 minus 3, 6 factorial. Then x power 6, 2 power 3 means 8 and y3. 9 factorial means 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 factorial. 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 6 factorial. This 8 will shift here. 8 x 6 y 3. Now if we calculate this value, we will be getting the coefficient of term having x 6 and y 3. 6 factorial got cancelled. This 3 is a 9. 2 4 is a 8. So we are getting 3 into 4 into 7 into 8 x x y 3. So if we calculate all these we multiply 12 7 is a 84 84 and 8 will give us 672 x x y 3. Therefore what they were asking? They were asking find the coefficient. So answer coefficient of term is, last term is 670.